Welcome to my series of a videos on a diabetic hypoglycemia that is a low blood sugar in a people who have a diabetes. By the way, this topic is a very commonly requested topic. That's the reason why we have made an entire series on this topic. And I request you to watch all those videos so that you will have a detailed information about it. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about what are the symptoms and signs which you should keep in mind so that you are aware of the symptoms of the low blood sugar. Namaste, my name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I am an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. Now before I begin this video, one important information, if you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then on the i button and in the description box, there is a link. If you click on that link, this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर आई बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे नाउ डायबिटिक हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया और लो ब्लड शुगर इज अ वन ऑफ द वेरी कॉमन साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ द डायबिटीज एंड इट्स अ ट्रीटमेंट एंड मेनी अ टाइम्स पीपल आर स्केर्ड If you have a one episode of hypoglycemia, you will realize that how scary that situation is. Now, to make this situation less scary and to make you more alert about the situation, <clears throat> this special series of the videos is made. Now, why do these symptoms happen, and what are the major symptoms? So, see the symptoms mainly concentrate around your brain region. The reason behind that, our brain needs a continuous supply of a glucose. Our brain can't function if there is a deficiency or a lack of glucose. So when your blood sugar starts falling down, it's a brain which gets alert and active immediately, and you will start developing the symptoms. Now the symptoms which I'm going to discuss, all those symptoms may not necessarily happen to every individual. A different individual can have a different symptoms. it's again not necessary that if you blood sugar starts going down you will develop all the symptoms it might happen that you might have one or two symptoms out of that again it's fine again it depends on how fast you are developing a hypoglycemia if your sugars are falling very fast your symptoms will be different if your hypoglycemia is a very slow and gradual progression again your symptoms will be different symptoms also vary from episode to episode it might happen that today if you have a hypoglycemia you are having a different symptoms next time if you have a second episode of hypoglycemia symptoms might vary so it's not necessary that all patients will have a similar symptoms also at the same time if you have missed out on the symptoms of the hypoglycemia wherein they were mild it might progress further to a more moderate and a severe hypoglycemia and can be more threatening so that is the reason why it is important for you to be alert about those symptoms what are the symptoms so the very first symptom which can happen is that many times people have a headache and along with the headache they have a giddiness sometimes they suddenly develop a intense hunger sometimes they experience that their mood is changed they are very irritable they easily end up fighting with people many times people are very confused they are not able to concentrate sometimes their people also feel very sleepy sometimes there can be extreme fatigue and a tiredness people can experience that they are having a lot of sweating sometimes there can be blurring of the vision many times it is happened that people develop a very weird kind of a tingling sensations over their lips and their tongue and over their cheeks sometimes people have also experienced that they feel lot of vomiting sensations and a nausea sometimes their body starts feeling shaky and they have a tremors many a time the people have also experienced that they feel that their heart rate is increasing as if they have ran a marathon so this fast heart rate or a palpitations is also common many a times people have also experienced that their body skin is changing its color and it is becoming more pale so all these symptoms can happen and if you don't pay attention to that symptoms it can progress further <clears throat> now not necessary that these symptoms only happen to a adult 
the symptoms can also happen to children and these are the children who usually have a type 1 or we what we call it as a juvenile diabetes now see all these symptoms can also be present in a children also but children have a very special kind of uh, symptoms which are very particular of the children what are those symptoms as a parent you should be aware of these symptoms so that if you are dealing with a type 1 children so you can take a right action at that time suddenly if you find that your child is behaving very weird suddenly you find that your child is crying for no reason or throwing a lot of tantrums or is very angry or fighting with the siblings or their friends be alert it could be a low blood sugar Many a times it is found that these children are not able to focus and pay attention to their studies properly and they, you might experience that they, their grades in the school is falling and the teacher also complained that your child is not able to concentrate and focus or a child is fighting with the other children. So be attentive about it and keep a note of that. And if you have a type 1 children and you are a caregiver for them, it's not only your job to be aware, you also have to inform this to the principal and the teachers of the school and the tuition teachers. Not only that, you should also inform this to the all the other friends of your children who are usually around them. Many a time what happens that due to social stigma, a parents usually feel shy and they don't want to reveal that their child is having a type 1 diabetes and they keep this identity as a hidden secret. And what happens that when these children develop a hypoglycemic event in the school, the child not only feels uh, unsafe and insecure but at the same time even the teachers don't know what to do so if you have informed them in advance your teachers can be alert and they can take a right action at the right time and if the right action is not taken your child can go into a very severe complication to avoid that you must inform and if a child is having a repetitive such symptoms then it is important that you put a medical bracelet or a medical pendant to your child so that anyone who when your child falls into hypo event is aware and can take a right action so in that medical bracelet you must write that your child is having a type 1 diabetes you should write the contact number of your parents and caregivers <coughs> and also of the doctors and what to do at that time if that can be taken care you will end up that your child is a very safe and secure so all these symptoms can happen pertaining to the type 1 diabetic children now let's see what are the symptoms can happen in the night time so now we have a very special kind of a situation called as a nocturnal hypoglycemia wherein this low blood sugar event happens in the night time See, hypoglycemia can happen at any time. It is not dependent on the time bound. But there are certain people who develop a di di uh, these symptoms more in the night time. Now, so what are the special symptoms? See, all the symptoms which I mentioned just now can happen. But what happens in the night time? Because you, are, because you are fast asleep, your body may not be able to detect these symptoms at a early stage. And you might miss out those symptoms. And if you miss out those symptoms, it can become difficult for you to have a next episode symptoms also. So what are the special night time symptoms? So suddenly if you find that you wake up from your sleep, or you have a very nightmares or you are crying out or you are talking aloud that could be a low blood sugar symptom many a times it is found that the people experience extensive perspiration and sweating and that makes their clothes their night dresses and even their bed sheets wet if that happens it could be a low blood sugar many a times you wake up from your sleep or sometimes when you wake up in the morning you don't find yourself fresh you have an irritable behavior you have a headache you feel that you've not slept properly or this can also be an indication that you might had a nighttime blood sugar issue so please keep a note of that and if you repetitively have such a nighttime hypoglycemia it will impair your ability to work your quality of life can also be impaired it might happen that the future hypoglycemic event can easily be missed out so many a times it is found that the people who have such a kind of a low blood sugar wherein they are not aware of that goes into a severe hypoglycemia while they are asleep and that can trigger a heart problem also 
in fact there is a very special medical condition what we call it is a dead in bed syndrome wherein the sugar levels went so down that the person landed up into sudden cardiac failure or a heart attack and the person lost their life in the night time however this condition is not that common but yes this condition do exist so please make a note of that so who will develop a nocturnal hypoglycemia it is very difficult to say that person a will develop and person b will not develop but yes if over the day if throughout the day if you are very physically active you have a higher chances of getting a night hypoglycemia second reason if before the bed if you are physically active now many people have a habit of walking after the dinner or at the, or many people are sexually active in the night time which again is a physical exertion for the body that can also trigger a nocturnal hypoglycemia again many times many people have a habit of drinking alcohol at the night time so if you are drinking an alcohol and if you skip your food that can trigger a hypoglycemia so please make attention to that and if you are developing such a nocturnal hypoglycemia you have to inform to your doctor your doctor will advise you certain changes and if there is a repetitive nocturnal hypoglycemia which can be dangerous so you might be advised to use a continuous glucose monitoring see i understand every time you can't be dependent that if your blood sugars will fall down you will get alert and you will wake up many times you don't get those symptoms so in that kind of a situation we do advise a continuous glucose monitoring which will give you an alert and indication that your sugar levels are falling down your doctors might change your medical prescription it might happen that your doctor might advise you to reduce or stop alcohol especially in the night time you might need to consider consuming a small amount of a bedtime snack probably a fruit or maybe a glass of a milk so that you prevent yourself from getting into the nocturnal hypoglycemia so these are all the symptoms which you need to watch out for now if you don't take action when your blood sugars were falling and when you were in a mild hypoglycemia you can land up into going into a severe hypoglycemia severe hypoglycemia is a condition wherein your blood sugars are falling less than 54 mg per deciliter now severe hypoglycemia usually events can be very very fatal and these are the people who cannot take care of themselves at that time understand when your sugar levels are mild you can do your on your own and you can manage to manage yourself but in a severe hypoglycemia you are dependent on someone else to assist you so what are the symptoms of the severe hypoglycemia see severe hypoglycemia suddenly doesn't happen it happens with a few initial warning signs but if you missed out on those few initial warning signs it progresses further so suddenly you find that you are having a very blurred vision and you are losing your stability you are your body is becoming very shaky you suddenly find that you know your muscles have become very weak and you suddenly collapse or fall down many a times people also fall unconscious many a times the people have experienced that their speech has changed their speech becomes a slurred they are not in a position to eat or drink anything so these are all complications can happen if you have a severe hypoglycemia severe hypoglycemia can also trigger a heart problem especially arrhythmia so if you already have a heart issues and if you suddenly develop a severe hypoglycemia arrhythmic episodes can happen and which can again become a dangerous so at the time of a severe hypoglycemia you will need someone else's assistance so these are the points which you need to watch out for so these are the symptoms of the hypoglycemia which we have discussed and if you especially have a repetitive hypoglycemia then in that case you must consider yourself doing a frequent blood sugar monitoring especially before you are doing any kind of an exercise or even while driving because many a times when you are unaware of the hypoglycemic event and you are driving you can not only land up yourself getting into an accident but you put someone else's life also in danger so please make a note of it many a times it is also happened that all these symptoms doesn't happen to anybody but when they check the blood sugar and they find the sugar levels are very very low this condition is called as a hypoglycemia unawareness by the way what is hypoglycemia unawareness i have made a detailed video on that you can watch that video for your reference all right now so that's about the symptoms of the hypoglycemia i have one question for you 
have you ever got a low hypoglycemic event if yes what were your symptoms please write in the comment box and if you have watched this video and you got some good useful information after watching this video please click on the like button and if you have any of your personal question pertaining to your diabetes or thyroid or any health problem write your question in the comment box i try to read them as early as i can and reply to them also and if you are new to my channel and if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe so that you will get more and more health related information and then there is a bell icon if you click on that as and when my new video will be published you will get an instant notification by the way this video for diabetic hypoglycemia will continue we will meet again in a new topic of this video till then take care of yourself take a good care of your blood sugar and never land up in hypoglycemia Take care. Namaste.